What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you a video just talking about some things that I will be focusing on in my purchases in 2019 and things that I will not be purchasing in 2019. So if you guys are interested in hearing um, things that I will be purchasing then just keep watching. Okay guys, so just to get the elephant out of the room, my eye look I did not record. I just sat down and used the Z palette that I created and used in my get ready in my get ready with me I will link that up in the cards and then my lip product is a lip product from baby bat beauty and it's called my bone it's a yellow I think this is my first yellow that I have in my collection I'm pretty happy about it and I thought it was really cool with the green so that's why I paired it together I hope you guys like the look definitely let me know down below if you don't like it let me know I know I wear a lot of weird combinations so you might not be into it um but yeah we're here to talk about things that I will be purchasing and things that I will not be purchasing in 2019 first and foremost it's going to be hard, but I will not be purchasing high-end or luxury makeup in 2019. Now, this is no shade or no offense to those brands and or those brands that are in those category of makeup. But I feel as though in 2018, I really realized that I can get the same thing in a lot of um, categories from drugstore or indie brands. And... Indie brands you guys know is where my heart at is at so I want to really invest in those brands um, When it comes to high-end mainly this year what I purchased was blushes bronzers highlighters and Eyeshadow palettes. I purchased a couple of Foundations and a few concealers, but that's about it concealers and foundations. I really don't purchase that much I have been going ham this month I'm recording in December just to let you guys know. I've been going ham in December, but a lot of it's been on drugstore foundations, so that's good. Um, as for highlighters, I noticed that I can get the same intensity, pigmentation, same color highlighter in indie brands or in drugstore brands. And blushes, I can get the same intensity, if not more pigmented, blushes in drugstore brands. And as for bronzers, I've actually been enjoying my cheaper bronzers more than my more expensive bronzers. So these things are just leading me to the fact that I don't need to purchase any high-end or luxury makeup. Now, I think the hardest part for me is going to be when Pat McGrath releases her holiday for next year. Um, so we will see how long I can hold out. What I will do is I will give myself three scapegoats, three things that I just cannot live without in high-end and luxury makeup. Those will be the three items that I purchase for next year. So I will not purchase more than three high-end or luxury items in 2019. Now, I am purposely excluding brushes because I'm really coming into my own when it comes to purchasing brushes. I've really been purchasing a lot more brushes. I have an order from Beautylish that I am aiming to purchase um, before the end of the year. Just need to see if some finances things will come through. Um, and yeah, I've really been enjoying purchasing brushes. I've been getting along with some Wayne Goss brushes, Chikuhodo, I'm eyeing a couple Hakuhodo brushes. I've been watching a bunch of videos trying to figure out which lines of Hakuhodo brushes would really work for me. So for me, I'm not going to take away luxury brushes because I'm really enjoying those. And those are things, brushes are something that I feel like the more you spend, the better quality, the more life longevity, and even sometimes the better blendability you will get on your eyes. So for me, brushes is separate. Now, in that sense, since I'm talking about things that I will be purchasing, I just do order one. I just want to throw in the fact that I will only be purchasing three items from each category each month, which means I will only be allowing myself to purchase three foundations in a month, three highlighters in a month, etc, etc. That saying, saying that right now, at the beginning of 2019, I will be starting a no buy, not purchasing anything on foundations blushes, highlighters, and lip products. 
that's gonna be really hard for me um really hard for me especially I want to say highlighters and blushes I'm gonna that's gonna be really hard but for the first I want to say first three months of 2019 I will not be purchasing any of those four categories which leaves me to only be able to purchase eyeshadow palettes bronzers concealers but I don't really buy concealers like that and that's about it those are the only products that I can think of which is fine I really enjoy testing out bronzers I hit pan on a lot of bronzers oh and no powder products I don't need any more powder products so for me for the first three months of 2019 I will only be allowed to buy indie or drugstore eyeshadow palettes indie or drugstore bronzers and that's it that's what I'm gonna stick with and that's where I am ending um, I just, I really want to control my purchasing. Oh, and of course brushes. I really want to control my purchasing and when I'm really realizing that I can get a beaming highlighter from the drugstore, why am I buying a high-end or luxury highlighter? What is the point of it? The name? Who cares? It's all about what it looks like on my face. Today I mixed, what did I mix? I mixed the drugstore highlighter, the NYX. Today I mixed the NYX Paradise Fluff Heads in the Clouds and I stayed in this window. This is like a rosy pink and like a really light lavender. I mixed between those as my base and then on top I put Ofra's Rodeo Drive. That works. I used one high-end highlighter, one drugstore highlighter, but even then I didn't even need the high-end. I only used it to add a little, slightly more of a pop because the NYX um, fluff, this one is a little bit more soft. It's not as highlighty, if you will. But anyways, I just, I'm really trying to focus my spending in other avenues. I'm trying to save more in 2019. I have some saving goals that I have in mind. I'm just trying to change some lifestyle um, situations. And yeah, I just, I think I can do it. I can do it if I put my mind to it, put it to you that way. And I'm gonna be really busy in 2019, like extremely busy. So no need to really purchase too much makeup because I probably won't be able to really test it out, review it, and do all that for you guys. So yeah, for the first three months of 2019, I will only allow myself to purchase bronzers and eyeshadow palettes. Even then, I will only be able to purchase three in each month. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Definitely let me know if you guys are doing any, if you guys are changing what you can buy or really limiting to what you can buy in 2019, I would love to hear it. I'm not going on a year no buy, well actually I am, I'm going on a year no buy of luxury and high-end makeup. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all, 